Book 1, Item Number Reader, what is the designated number of the item in question? Narrator, the designated number of the item in question is 4500. Appendix A, what is the assigned index of the item in question? Appendix B, the assigned index of the item in question is Socratic Containment Procedures. Book 2, Safety Class. What is the safety class of the item in question? The safety class of the item in question is Euclid. Book 3, Special Containment Procedures. What are the special containment procedures of the item in question? As SCP-4500 is accessed by philosophical contemplation, knowledge of SCP-4500 is to be restricted to Level 4 researchers and above, as well as members of MTF-31 by Platonic Solids. All public media describing SCP-4500 are to be destroyed immediately, and Class D amnestics are to be administered to any civilians found to possess knowledge of SCP-4500. Due to its anomalous effect, all documentation concerning SCP-4500 is to be contained in the form of a Socratic dialogue. To ensure stability, the containment procedures for SCP-4500 are to be recited in group dialogue, accompanied by contemplation of SCP-4500-1. And how shall the item in question be studied? Philosophical expeditions into SCP-4500 are conducted weekly by MTF-31 Pi, Platonic Solids, in the secondary library of Site-28. All researchers interested in visiting SCP-4500 must score 80% or higher on the Level 4 CPB. Classical Philosophical Battery and Pass Screening for Mimetic Hazards. First-time idonauts are asked to provide coffee and biscuits. New instances of SCP-4500-A are to be transcribed by at least three, three members of MTF-31 Pi and the transcripts compared and edited until all three are in agreement. Book 4. Description What is the description of the item in question? SCP-4500 is a platonic ideal. In particular, it is the abstractification of the exact concept known as SCP-4500-1. Unlike most ideal concepts, SCP-4500 can be physically interacted with through philosophical thought. Group contemplation of SCP-4500-1, facilitated by Socratic dialogue, allows travel to SCP-4500. Mental travel to SCP-4500 is possible through contemplation of the ideal qualities inherent to SCP-4500 and is facilitated by group discussion and debate. But what is seen during such travel? As far as it has been explored, SCP-4500 consists of idealizations of the concept of room. Each room is of variable volume and construction, with materials used including stone, lead, and bronze. It is believed that this is used to distinguish rooms, as room has only one platonic ideal, while large bronze room and small lead room have distinct platonic ideals. Each room explored to date displays a single instance of SCP-4500-A. Each instance of SCP-4500-A is an ideal dialogue between individuals. Every observer experiences this dialogue in their preferred language. Now speak and tell me. What is the purpose of the item in question? Transcripts of SCP-4500-A instances suggest that the facility was once in the material realm, near Athens, Greece, and served a purpose similar to that of the modern-day foundation. The exact method by which it was translated to the ideal realm is unknown, although several of the transcribed SCP-4500-A instances make allusions to the process. See example 4 below. None of the anomalies described in instances of SCP-4500-A have been discovered during expeditions, despite dialogue implying their presence. Reclassification of SCP-4500 to SAFE is in process, awaiting the complete mapping of the interior. Book 5. Discovery 
How was the item in question discovered? The item in question was discovered on 19 during a spirited debate between and concerning the philosophical underpinnings of their seminal work. During the debate, the two philosophers apparently conceived of SCP-4500-1 organically and discussed its existence, at which point they entered SCP-4500. The two discussed their findings in a college-wide seminar a week later. A foundation operative planted in the mathematics department of college was able to document this seminar. Class A amnestics were administered to all civilians involved. Book 6. Examples of SCP-4500-A Can you provide me with examples of SCP-4500-A? Example 1. Q. What is the designation? A. The designation is Pi Alpha Nu. And what threat does it represent? The threat of iron. And what is the method of constraint? Pi Alpha Nu shall be sealed in lead. No less than two freedmen shall attend Pi Alpha Nu at all times. A scholar of level Gamma or higher must be consulted before any experiment with Pi Alpha Nu. Under no circumstances will scholar Pandora be allowed to access Pi Alpha Nu again. And what is the description of Pi Alpha Nu? Pi Alpha Nu is a ceramic jar that was once painted with depictions of several silver threat aberrations, corresponding directly to known aberrations, as well as three unknown entities assumed to be aberrations. Scholar Epimetheus discovered Pi Alpha Nu on... Experimentation revealed that Pi Alpha Nu is capable of storing living entities in a state of stasis. The painted depictions on the jar change to represent the contents. Under routine testing by scholar Pandora, the constraint of Pi Alpha Nu was broken and several silver threat aberrations were released. At this day, only one, the entity, has been recontained in Pi Alpha Nu. Example 2. What is the designation? The designation is Pi Upsilon Theta. And what threat does it represent? The threat of silver. And what is the method of constraint? All scholars not in the Second Academy that display knowledge of Pi Upsilon Theta are to be drowned at sea. Any scrolls describing Pi Upsilon Theta are to be burnt and the ashes dispersed. All pottery depicting Pi Upsilon Theta is to be destroyed and ground to a size not exceeding that of a mustard seed. And what is the description of Pi Upsilon Theta? Pi Upsilon Theta is the knowledge of numbers not in perfect fraction. This knowledge was first discovered by scholar Pythagoras when calculating the length of an isosceles right triangle's hypotenuse. Knowledge of Pi Upsilon Theta is an emanatory ideal capable of oral and written transmission. Pi Upsilon Theta causes severe distress during initial exposure. Example 3. What is the designation? The designation is Omega Omega Omega. And what threat does it represent? The threat of gold. And what is the method of constraint? Omega 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 is to be cast into the pit known as Tartarus Beta, to a depth of no less than 20 stidions. All seismic motions shall be reported to scholar Zeus, who will hurl no less than three thunderbolts of type Omega down Tartarus Beta. If seismic motions continue, Scholar Zeus is instructed to engage Omega 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 directly. And what is the description of Omega Omega Omega? Omega 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 is human in body but wears a hundred serpents' head on his shoulders. The being emits both flame and thunder from every head. The being is highly virile and has produced numerous abominations, including Kappa Epsilon Rho, Upsilon Delta Rho, and Omicron Rho Theta. Escape of Omega 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 could result in a new Earth and new cosmos. Containment of Omega 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 is our greatest ideal. Example 4. What is the designation? The designation is Pi Lambda Alpha. And what threat does it represent? No threat. Its substance is that of heroes. And what is the method of constraint? Pi Lambda Alpha shall be held at ready at all times by no fewer than three scholars of the highest circle. 
if all constraints shall fail and an alteration of the earth and cosmos is imminent, a scholar of the highest circle possessing knowledge of Pi Lambda Alpha shall enact it. And what is the description of Pi Lambda Alpha? Pi Lambda Alpha is the breaking of the chains. Pi Lambda Alpha is the burning of puppets and the dousing of fire. Pi Lambda Alpha is walking out of the cave and into the light. Pi Lambda Alpha is not to be used until all other resources are exhausted. Example 5. This room was distinct from the others, including an idealization of small straw bed. Whose is this abode? This is the abode of Scholar Heracles. And where is Scholar Heracles after the death of Scholar Megara? Scholar Heracles has been assigned to the duty of gold-level beings as punishment for his recklessness until further notice.